Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be good for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, or if you are dealing with an Aries, these messages may resonate with you as well. This is a general reading, so it won't be for every single person watching, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, we're gonna go over you and the person that you're dealing with. I'm also going to look at um, some overall energies for you guys, okay? Um, your current energy, past, current, future, what's challenging you, and then dive into you and your specific person, okay? So let's take a look, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries. I am also an Aries, Aries, Sun. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Not every message may be your message, so just take what resonates. Sometimes I get very specific messages. If it's not for you, just leave it. Aries. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Aries. All right, bottom of the deck is marriage. You could be married. <clears throat> you could be dealing with somebody who's married. Um, or there's an energy of like seeing potential of a marriage with someone that happily ever after, okay? But let's see what else came out. Someone misses you. I miss your smile. Someone misses your smile, Aries. Communication. Someone here really wants to communicate that with you, that they miss you, um, that they miss your smile here. Okay, what else? Yeah. Um, Possibly the person that you're dealing with, they have fears of their family not approving of your connection, or this could be you, um, or that could be a real life situation where someone's family does not approve of the connection. I finally woke up to our connection. Is it too late? Okay, so someone here really wants to communicate with you that they know what your connection is. Is it too late? Lack of stability. Taurus got the same card. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, or you have that in your chart, or you could be a cusper. Um, but <clears throat> some of you feel like there's a lack of stability in this connection, okay? I need time alone. Someone here withdrew their energy, kind of pulled back a bit uh, from the connection. Needing time alone, maybe due to a lack of stability here, okay? <clears throat> Let's um, actually, you know what? We're going to do this one first. Aries. Whew. Sun, moon, rising. Yeah, someone here wants to offer you some sort of apology, Aries. Um, they want to apologize or there's an energy here of needing to release what someone's done to you in the past um, and heal from that, okay? Heal from something that, that happened to you in the past. <clears throat> Aries, sun, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Some of you definitely have like a 5D connection with someone, soulmate, soul contract, um, karmic, something like that, okay? It's like, there. I'm feeling like you guys waited a very long time for something to come together <clears throat> and it never um, got off the ground or it never turned into what you were waiting for it to turn into. So maybe you walked away because due to a lack of stability, and someone misses you and they're waking up to your connection and they want to apologize. Okay, someone's definitely realizing, I just heard your worth, okay? Possibilities is here. So um, there is potential in this relationship, okay? However, <clears throat> you may know that this is going to be a project. It's going to um, be a lot of work. So you may be in a position or in an energy here of deciding whether or not it's worth the investment if it's worth the work here because you've been in many cycles with an individual okay <clears throat> some of you are in a connection out of convenience it's easier to be in the connection than to leave it it could be you or your person take it how it resonates aries over romanticized okay so some of you have an idea or you had this idea of what you wanted this connection to be and now you feel like it's far from reality, okay? You snapped out of it, I'm hearing, or you had some sort of realization. 
when it comes to that, you re, you have reevaluated your views. It could have been a friends with benefits type situation, very lustful, um, very passionate um, connection, Aries. But you, you, either you or your person feels like there's um, like a loss of control when you guys are together. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. The intensity of this connection is so strong and overwhelming. One of you may run from it, I'm getting, okay? It could be a bit toxic. You could be dealing with a toxic situation, see, but there is a turning point. Someone here decided to walk away, learn the lesson, um, and move forward, even though despite the fact that they felt trapped to the situation, there was an awakening, okay? <clears throat> so, interesting. Here we go. Um, I'm hearing long overdue changes. So whatever this is, was a long overdue change. Okay. Let's look at your current energy. It doesn't have to be in love, but we'll see what comes up for Aries. Current energy. Let's do past first. Some of you have new love coming in, Aries. Some of you have new love with the Ace of Cups here at the bottom. Um, some of you could be dealing with a temperance or you're having a new start or a new connection with a uh, oh, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Let's do past, present, and future. Some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio, but there's definitely some sort of transformation happening. Could be dealing with the Leo as well. Um, <clears throat> very strong connection. I'm also getting a resistance to an ending here. It could be in a marriage, could be done with a Taurus, uh, but you don't have to. Okay, more Leo energy here. You guys are definitely, wow, look at that. Someone's dealing with Leo. <laughs> Someone out there. Um, <clears throat> very strong Leo energy, but you guys are having the strength to move towards your happiness. Okay. okay. Aries. Some of you may um, <clears throat> be dealing with someone you have children with as well. Some of you may be very fertile right now, so make sure that you're being careful if you don't want kids, okay? Or another, I just heard, or another, or a baby. I don't know why my throat, <clears throat> I keep having to clear my throat. Someone here may have some sort of blockage in their throat chakra, not really expressing <clears throat> something, okay? So it's fine until I did this, <laughs> started your reading, Aries. Okay, so let's look at past energy. <clears throat> there you are, Emperor. Interesting. So in the past, it looks like you were in control, all right? You are sitting on your throne. Wow, look at this, such strong Aries energy. Um, and taking a risk on something, a calculated risk on something, taking a leap of faith into something is what I'm getting with this. <clears throat> Aries, okay. In the past, what were you taking a risk on? Could be dealing with someone older than you as well. Ooh, you um, made a decision to take a break or you took a risk or felt risky <laughs> taking a break or separating yourself from something due to conflict here. Okay, there's some conflict, competition possibly. Okay, you took your control back, all right? And took a, a leap of faith in a new direction, okay? Separated yourself from something here due to a bunch of conflict, all right? That's in your past. <clears throat> What's in your current energy, Aries? Current energy. Look, at there's that Leo again. <laughs> Strength and Knight of wands with the three of swords here at the bottom of the deck king of cups is underneath that four of pentacles interesting okay so <clears throat> what i'm getting right away is so some of you could be going with a water sign cancer scorpio pisces this person may be holding on to you okay um also i'm getting for some of you this person is the one who is holding back okay someone is holding back their emotions and your connection currently or this could be you all right <clears throat> three of swords there's heartbreak, pain in the current moment, and trying to have the strength to move forward. Um, Knight of Wands, you're pursuing something, having the strength to pursue something. Some of you may be moving towards a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but you're still healing from something, okay? Some of you are definitely getting um, a lot of attention 
Ooh, okay. What I'm getting is some of you may have moved away from a situation. And uh, there's an energy here of going back to something or getting attention from something or someone from your past. Okay. So I do see that in your current energy. Could be this water sign for some of you, someone from your past, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or someone you have a strong connection with, uh, a strong emotional attachment to is resurfacing here. Okay. But they hold back a lot is what I'm getting. What's the challenge? What's challenging Aries? Eight of Pentacles. Um, could be work, finances. <clears throat> wow, Eight of Swords. Eight, eight, and communication. All right, a missed opportunity here. Yeah, someone is doing a lot of thinking about the past, um, feeling like there's a missed opportunity here, right? Stuck up in their head, not really communicating and putting in work into something is in the challenge. So definitely there's a very strong energy here, Aries, of feeling trapped. Okay, some of you may have felt guilty for leaving a situation and that's why it felt risky to separate yourself from something. You may have felt a sense of guilt for betraying or, or leaving a karmic or a toxic situation. Okay, and that's part of your challenge and moving on. Still holding back, holding on to something. Um, and the blockage is putting in work. Some of you, work could be a challenge. Uh, you could be experiencing some issues as far as overworking or I just heard trying to keep yourself busy potentially for some of you, okay? To not really think about something that happened in the past, some sort of missed opportunity. Okay, it could be you <clears throat> or your person, take it how it resonates. But also communication is in the blockage or what's well, challenging. Someone's not really opening up and communicating. What's, what is that communication page of wands? Justice in reverse. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you don't have to be. Um, the situation's not balanced at all. Something you feel is unjust or not fair, something not going your way. Could be, could really have to do with work, getting news surrounding some, your finances or something that has to do with your stability or career that you feel like is not going in your favor, okay? Five of Swords could be a conflict or a fight or an argument or falling out that you had with someone as well that's challenging you currently, okay? <clears throat> What's in the near future for Aries? Near future for Aries. Near future. Ooh, you have seven of swords and nine of pentacles. So this is really good. This is you guys. Um, and with the seven of swords, it's not always deception, right? This is somebody who's a planner, strategically planning something. I feel like a lot of you in your near future are strategically planning something that has to do with your stability, okay? Uh, some of you could be switching careers or... Um, Mm -hmm, that's what I'm getting or planning out a way for you guys to be stable. I just heard again or um, <clears throat> very this is a very independent energy. So planning out how you can gain a sense of independence or um, focus more on your stability. Okay, so that, that is actually really good. Nine, Nine of Pentacles is one of my favorite uh, cards in the deck. Okay, let's clarify the Seven of Swords. I do feel like it's somebody strategically planning though. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Pentacles. Wow, you guys, look at this. An Ace of Pentacles. So some of you may be getting a new job offer. And there's an energy here of planning that out, okay? Your finances moving forward look really good. A new opportunity coming through and it's gonna bring in a lot of stability for you. Holy cow, that looks really good. Stability and money look amazing for Aries. Okay, so <clears throat> let's look at you and your person. You, oh, you know what? Let's do um, overall love messages from the romance angels. Some of you, yeah, have a very passionate connection with someone here, okay? Very fiery. So 
some of you may be really into your uh, spiritual baths I'm getting, um, or that's a message that that's really important for you to start doing or continue doing. So you do have a strong uh, magnetic attraction with someone here. There is a lot of chemistry in a connection. Aries, what else for Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Could be a lot of differences between the two of you, cultures, age, uh, belief systems, the way you grew up, the way you guys communicate, the way you guys do things, families, etc. Yeah, some of you are separating from someone, but you're manifesting a soulmate connection. Like, I feel like it's like pretty quick after, or, and I feel like that soulmate connection, you guys already know this person, it's someone that you've already met, some, someone that you've already had an encounter with, someone from your past potentially is what I feel. Um, but that past energy could definitely be the past life connection as well. So um, it'll be different for all of you. But whatever that is, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so things are changing here. Someone is waking up to your connection. All right, so let's take a look at what's on your mind. Aries, what are you thinking about? Some of you are thinking about uh, communicating or communication or a message. Well, what are you thinking about? You guys are all up in your head, stressed out, um, having a hard time sleeping even. There's anxiety, worry. What is this Nine of Swords about? What is this Nine of Swords about? Something very unexpected. But it does lead to happiness. Okay. Ooh, look at that, the Empress. Like I said, some of you may, there's a lot of fertili fertility energy here um, and something very unexpected, so be mindful of that, be careful. Um, some of you are thinking about that, having a baby or having a family, um, an unexpected pregnancy could come into play here, but that won't be for everyone. So some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Leo, and if that's the case, this person's heavily on your mind, okay? But ultimately, I feel like you guys are thinking about some sort of shakeup, some sort of unexpected ending, um, and it leading to towards happiness. There's happiness um, that comes from some sort of sudden shakeup here. Okay, let's clarify the tower real quick before we move forward. Hold on, I want to make sure you guys can see these. So. Sunflowers are really sitting out to me here, so um, that could be significant for someone. Please clarify the tower for Aries. King of Pentacles. Um, wow, look at that, and the Empress is at the bottom of the deck again. Queen of Pentacles, holy cow. So this unexpected um, event could be... Um, Typically, this is someone who's married in a very stable connection. Uh, they are facing each other. Someone may be offering this to you. Uh, also, again, the Empress is a mother. Also, is somebody that also speaks on fertility or new beginnings. Okay, so some of you may have a new beginning in a connection, in a commitment. Somebody that potentially you were married to, somebody that you had a long-term commitment with. There's a new beginning here. Or that's what you're thinking about. Um, and it's very unexpected. Okay. It's like, will this make me happy? Or can this make me happy? Um, or not. There's a lot of overthinking when it comes to a commitment. All right. Could be with a Libra for some of you as well. But again, marriage, um, I'm getting really strong. Okay, how do you feel? Aries. How do you feel? November 2021. November, November 2021, Aries. How do you feel? So I 
Sagittarius energy here, Pisces at the bottom of the deck. Some of you feel kind of stuck or like one foot in, one foot out. Some of you feel like this person could be a player or um, there's definitely an energy here of not trusting. And I say that because you have the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. So Seven of Wands is pushing someone away or being very defensive, standing your ground, okay? And then you have the Two of Wands when it comes to making a decision about moving things forward. Okay, this is destiny. So whatever is happening right now is a destined event. Could be one with a Sag. But how you feel, you feel like you need to make a decision in moving things forward. Okay, or moving your life forward. Whatever that looks like for you. But there's definitely an energy here of feeling stuck. Could be feeling stuck to a Sag. Um, <clears throat> okay. But let's see, how do you view this person? How do you view this person? Okay, so some of you view them, it could be a Taurus, or you view them, wow, and Queen of Pentacles. Could view them as being in a committed relationship. <laughs> you could be dealing with someone who is in a committed relationship or married, all right? And that's why you were thinking about that, all right? This person's very stable, um, very, I just heard routine, like they are very structured and very, they like a routine, okay? What are they thinking about, Aries, when it comes to you? What are they thinking about, Aries? What are they thinking about? They're thinking about you. They may know that you have, um, or you may have another option, um, but you could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. Uh, but someone here would do their energy. And that's what they're thinking about. Could be thinking about their love for you as well. Um, but they're thinking about the fact that there's distance, separation between the two of you. Um, and maybe that you're moving on to something new. Let's, let's break this down. Um, between, hold on, I just had a card fall. Um, between... the King of Wands and the King of Cups. So <clears throat> I'm gonna use a different deck to clarify. Actually, let's see. So who is this King of Wands and Aries person, on Aries person's mind? What are they thinking about? Who is this King of Wands? Knight of Coins, moving things very slow. Eight of Cups. Maybe, and a five of cups. So whoever this, I think this is, and nine of pentacles. See, that was in your energy too. So I feel like um, this person, when they when they think of you, they think about how you walked away and that you're a missed opportunity. Maybe they took too long to pursue or took too long to take action. Okay. Let's look at this king of cups. On their mind, king of cups. What is this? King of cups energy here. Four of Swords, again. Someone here, um, there's separation, there's distance, okay? A lot of you may be dealing with a water sign and they're thinking about how you distance yourself from them, okay? The Four of Swords is here twice. So there's definitely a separation, maybe due to a lack of stability. This is that energy of I need time alone, okay? So let's um, let's continue. How do they feel towards Aries? How does this person feel towards Aries? Three of Wands. There's an energy here of waiting. Could be distance between the two of you as well, but definitely waiting on something. The Hermit, doing some soul searching. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Hmm. Why, what are they waiting on? What is this Three of Wands? The Moon. Could be doing Cancer Pisces, look at that. Again, strong cancer. Um, this person has a lot of fears surrounding the unknown. What are they waiting on? Someone to make a decision, potentially. Someone here needs to make a choice. Could be dealing with a Gemini. And that's what they're waiting on. How do they view you, Aries? How do they view you? <laughs> they view you in your energy. King of Swords and the Fool. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Also, there are three kings and one queen. Some of you may have three options. 
They view you as uh, taking a risk on something new. Could be an age difference between the two of you as well, but they view you as very like cold and detached. Okay. What is the mutual energy between the two of you? What is the mutual energy of the world? A cycle completed here. There's a new start, new beginning. Closing out old chapters. A lesson here has been completed. What's challenging this connection? Okay, just swords, two of cups. <sighs> um, right away, I'm getting immature. Someone in this uh, connection is immature. It is a soulmate connection. It, there is a very strong mutual connection between the two of you. Someone here may be stuck in their ego or there could be a third party situation, which is potentially what's challenging this connection. Having a very stable new beginning is in the challenge position. I mean, you guys have the fire, you have the passion, but there's a lack of stability here, okay? And that's what's challenging your connection. It's here twice. So what's the outcome in November? Well, wow. Eight of Pentacles again. The Hangman. Justice. Page of Wands. Queen of Wands. There you are. Um... So, <clears throat> someone here wants to rebalance out a situation. There's been some sort of enlightenment here, and they want to put work into this situation or this connection. There is communication coming in November in your outcome. What is this page of wands? What is this communication? Queen of Swords. Could be coming from a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Nine of Pentacles. Okay, what I'm getting with this is you may block out this communication because you are in search of finding your own stability or being single here. Okay, so you might shut it down is what I'm getting because you don't want to deal with anything toxic anymore is what I feel. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. So let's see what this person wants to say to Aries. I wish things could be different. That stood out to me. I wish things could be different. Aries, what else? I am becoming a better person. I bury myself in work to forget you. What was I saying? You're, I definitely feel this really strong. Somebody buries themselves in work to forget about the situation. I regret lying to you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I wish things could be different. I don't react when people mention you. I look for you everywhere. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So many things remind me of you. <laughs> okay, so um, that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope that was helpful. I hope that brought you some clarity to your situation. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Like, share, subscribe. Um, also, in my comments, there are people spamming my comments. Uh, so that is not me. I'm currently not doing personal readings, so please keep that in mind. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.